we're going to graph the system of three inequalities. So we'll take it one at a time, starting with the red one. We're going to subtract x over, giving us y is greater than 6 minus x. So we'll graph that line over here, and it's going to be a dashed line because it's strictly greater than. And then because it's greater than, we're going to shade everything above that line. So now we'll move on to our blue inequality, and our first step is going to be to subtract 3x over, giving us negative 2y is greater than or equal to 5 minus 3x. Now we'll divide by negative 2, and since we're dividing by a negative, that's going to flip our sign in the middle. So we've got y is less than or equal to 3 halves x minus 5 halves. So again, we're going to graph that line over here. This one is going to be a solid line because it's less than or equal to. And then we're going to shade everything below it. Now moving on to our last inequality, we'll start by subtracting 4x over. So we've got 6y is greater than or equal to 2 minus 4x. Now when we divide by 6, we get y is greater than or equal to 1 third minus 2 thirds x. So once again, we're going to graph that line. And this one is going to be a solid line because it's greater than or equal to and then we're going to shade everything above it. So everything you see there in that green section is where all of our shaded regions intersect. So any number that's in that region would be a solution to this system.